Hello, is this Patrick? Yeah. Uh, I was calling about your uh, your baseball tickets, the uh, San Francisco Giants and uh, and the Brewers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you you still have them for sale, right? Yeah. They're still for sale. Yeah. Man, I'm surprised nobody ate them tickets up yet. <laughs> I, I, yeah, you know, me and my me and my wife, we've been itching to go to a game all year. Oh man! Um, yeah, parking. Yeah, parking at the Giant Stadium. Yeah, AT&T parking. Yeah, parking is at least I want to say in between thirty to fifty dollars. I can't remember. Oh, I went damn. like back in was this eleven? I went when they played the uh, the Yankees at interleague play. Um, that's when Alex Rodriguez and Barry Bonds were still there, and I know it was thirty dollars back then, and that was probably three years ago. I want to say so. I, I'm sure it's gone up since then. Yeah, I'd imagine so. I yeah. figured, like, there's so many fans over there and everything, you know. There's got to be, they got to be rich over there, you know. Yeah. For so, sure. Yeah, so you're you're only selling them tickets for uh, 90 bucks, right? Yeah, $90 total. That includes two tickets plus a, plus a parking pass. Yeah, the parking pass, yeah. Uh, right. So is there uh, any way, uh, any way, like, any way, any way I could, like, uh, get them from me anyway, somehow? Yeah, well. Right now I'm at work. I can meet you. I live in South Sac. I can meet you at the uh, 24 Hour Fitness uh, after work. 24 uh, Hour today. Fitness? I don't work out. <laughs> no, but I can just meet you there, though. I'm 87. You think I'm going to work out? Huh? I'm 67 years old, man. I don't work out. <laughs> it's okay. Well, you can meet me there. Do you live, are, you living, are you living in Oak Grove or South Sac or Sacramento? Yeah, I live in Sacramento. Oh, that that sounds pretty good to be honest. Okay, that's fine. What so, uh, what time do you get uh, off work? Number, well, I get off at um at four o'clock. We're having to pick up my daughter. Your number came over. Uh, with a private number. A private so, like, number? Like, yeah, it came over as withheld, so it's a private number. So I don't I don't have your number. How do, how do I change that? Um, or you just give me your number, and I can just dial it straight, and I can let you know. Um, I'm thinking that we could probably meet up at around 5.30 over there, which is a good time. Um, I'll be back at home and get the chance to go pick up the tickets and, and you know, meet you over there. All right, all right. that sounds good, that sounds good. But, you know where I'm like, how, how do I figure out my number? My grandson knows my number, I think. Do you know your phone number? I don't know my phone number, man. All right. I guess that sounds all right, to be honest. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hey, did you hear me? Uh, I think so. You yeah, told, you told me to give me. you a call a little, a little later? No, I'm saying, well, because since you don't know your phone number, I'm saying is that I can meet you there at 5.30 today at 24 Hour Fitness at Elk Grove Farm in Calvine. Go ahead and give me a call when you're on your way and I can there at 5.30. Oh, all right. I smell what you're stepping in. Because I don't, like I said, your number's not, your number's not coming across. Yeah, I don't know what it is. My grandson knows. I might be able to three-way him if you want to talk to him. Um, oh, but then I'd have to yeah, know his sure. number. Exactly. Oh, dang it. Well, just, you know, you have my number. So yeah, I got it. Up, like I, said, I saved it in my contacts. And I'll meet you there at 5.30. Just give me a call. All right, I will. Bye-bye. Later, Patrick.